This video shows that crooks don't always have a lot going on upstairs. It all went down at this home under construction in Texas. A ring camera captures a guy making his way into the house with a flashlight. The homeowner gets an alert on the phone and realizes he's looking at a burglar. He calls the cops and moments later, officers show up and find the guy trying to sneak into the attic of the building. Police arrested the guy and said he had burglar tools on him, including a wire cutter and crowbar, and that he was getting ready to steal parts from an air conditioning system. Thieves have long targeted buildings for copper and other scrap metals, and according to the iScrap app, today's going rates for copper are about three bucks a pound. That might be why the alleged thief here has 18 prior felonies, many of which were for stealing precious metals like copper or aluminum, including one conviction that happened just two weeks before this attic incident. Thief was in jail on a $20,000 bond, or at current prices, roughly 7,800 pounds worth of copper tubing. Shout out to my man, Greg. Uh, that was pretty funny what he said. He, oh, he got a good sense of humor, you know. But anyway, as we see this fool on the top of the ladder, trying to steal copper and stuff, and you got to ask yourself, man, this guy didn't learn a lesson his first how many 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 sometimes for doing the same stupid stuff. Now, I don't understand why he would want to tell the police officer what he was doing. I mean, dang, bro, you could have said you was about to try to go to sleep or something, you homeless. But at least he's an honest thief, I can tell, I can say that because, yeah, he, they would have looked him up. They would have knew what he was all about anyway, so he would, they know he was up to no good. But anyway, y'all be safe out there, watch your appliances and all that because these thieves are crazy. And a family survived a nearly 300 foot fall from a cliff in their Tesla. We had four survivors in a collision where there shouldn't have been any survivors. I mean, it is truly a miracle that they're alive. The dad, mom, and two kids were rescued Monday after firefighters rappelled down this California cliffside and were airlifted out by helicopter. We were actually very shocked when we found a survivable victim in the vehicle. Now the family was rushed to the hospital and are suffering moderate injuries, but it turns out the plunge might not have been an accident. Police think that the dad intentionally drove off the cliff and has been arrested on child abuse and attempted murder charges. Right now, police are still working on finding out what his motive was. Now, I wouldn't know how to feel if I was riding a car with my family members and somebody did that to us. I mean, look at that. Don't nobody make it from nothing like that. I believe I reported something like this before, um, probably a couple days back, if not a week. No later than a week, though, where another person fell off the cliff. They were able to climb out the car and call for help. Now, that's amazing. And they say high power doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? If you believe, you know exactly high power. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you praise, that's all about positivity and everything like that and keep you saying at peace. That is what it's all about. And they were protected. Look at that. They were so protected, you know, and now that he's done. This story out of Louisiana is absolutely heartbreaking. This is 16-year-old Caroline Gill and 17-year-old Maggie Dunn. They were best friends and cheerleaders at Bresley High School, but on New Year's Eve, tragedy struck. That day, police say a man stole his dad's car. Trent. Trent. And this officer went after him in a high-speed chase, reaching upwards of 86 miles per hour. Local news reports the officer ran a red light and did not hit his brakes and smashed his vehicle into another car at the intersection that had Caroline, Maggie, and Maggie's 20-year-old brother inside. Caroline and Maggie were killed, and Maggie's brother remains hospitalized in critical condition. Police later arrested the 24-year-old man who stole his dad's car, and the district attorney has questioned why the cop chased after him at such a high speed. The 42-year-old cop has also been arrested and faces multiple charges, including two counts of negligent homicide. Dang, that is very sad to hear, y'all, that this happened. This went on with this guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, this police officer was being very careless. Now, I honestly thought that they could no longer chase cars 
that's in you know what i'm saying in this in in the area that pedestrians and everybody be at because of stuff like this unless i was only in certain states but i honestly thought the police officers can no longer go on the high speed chase and and follow that close he definitely going no goddamn no goddamn 90 miles an hour uh, you got dang going 90 miles an hour and a 30, bro. That's three times the limit. So, yeah, the charges he's facing is uh, absolutely accurate. And I hope that guy, you know what I'm saying, that young man, young adult, pulled through because this is just tragic. Very tragic.